The story is about a, uh, a woman who uh, has a whirlwind, love at first sight kind of love affair and decides to give up everything, her job, her home, her life in San Francisco, and move to a small Calif- Southern California town uh, because she meets uh, this dream guy. And when she gets there, she finds out that this dream guy does not have a dream ex-wife. He has a very difficult ex-wife uh, and a lovely little girl. But, you know, the at first, the first wife, uh, you know, seems to be making an effort. But as time goes on, the relationship gets more and more complicated and more and more scary. I enjoyed directing it. I enjoyed telling that story. Um, And, you know, it's amazing how many people said to me, like, gosh, I've thought of doing that. Or I kind of, you know, when I've gotten really jealous or really angry, you know, it's I've kind of thought about that. Like in my darkest hour, I would never do it. But to see her do it is, you know, really kind of fun to see it. So the twists and the turns and the scares and I think seeing her go so far, you know, she goes one step further, then another step further, then another step further. I always wanted Katherine Heigl to do uh, this movie and play this role. I had worked with her in another film, Life as We Know It, and um, I think she is one of the greatest actresses working today. Um, I think she's capable of anything. I think she has a level of technique um, that is kind of mind-blowing. And I really wanted to see her do something different. And I knew she could do this, and she knew she could do it. And she had the courage to really go out on a limb. I mean, this part and this character is very extreme and very complicated and does some very unlikable things. But, you know, she's so lovable. That's why she, you know, was so wonderful in so many of the romantic comedies she did is there's such a kind of beautiful, angelic, quality that she has. The thing that really got me about Rosario Dawson is that she has an inherent goodness about her. She has a huge heart in real life and it comes through in the films that she does and a likability um, and an intelligence and a sexiness. You know, you can see that a guy would just take one look at her and say, like, that's it. You know, that's the woman for me. Um, But, you know, when I had met her and I would see her even doing, you know, publicity or interviews or talk show interviews, I sensed something in her that I knew that would work for the character is that you just know that there is a good heart there. It's an entire female team um, from beginning to end. Um, you know, our studio executives, uh, Lynn Harris and Nyjia Kirkendall, our um, producers, um, you know, our producer, uh, Lynn Harris and, and Allison Greenspan, our writer, Christina Hodson. So, you know, I had a lot of women um, on the team, which was great. It was really wonderful. And developing the script with them, with um, Allison and, and Christina in particular, uh, was wonderful because we share a lot of the same experiences. We have a shorthand. We have an understanding. Um, we you know, would say, well, I would do this. I would do that. My friend did this. My mother used to do this. You know, we had this kind of... Um, you know, group uh, thing about, uh, you know, making sure that we kind of all believed what each woman was doing at, at any given time. We had a very difficult time finding someone who looked like they could be Katherine Heigl's mother. I wanted someone of equal beauty who was still beautiful at, you know, at be, as a woman of a certain age and was as perfect and put together as the Katherine Heigl character. It was very difficult to find the right person. And when Cheryl Ladd came up, I thought, oh my gosh, she is a great beauty. You know, I remember her from Charlie's Angels and every guy, you know, was in love with her. And as soon as I met her and she read for the role, I was like, oh God, she's perfect.